else can interact with. That's what makes a sales professional, right? So let's get more theatrical, right? So as we, as we start to get and break down customers' beliefs, as we reframe by saying, let me ask you a question. I hear what you're saying, right? Those are all, those are all reframers, so that takes a no, and from the no, we want to get them back on the line and turn it into a yeah. yes, and then proceed down, right? Using those reframers is building, continue to build what? Rapport. Rapport. The stronger my rapport gets, the more the customer will what me? Like you. And trust me, and it will show the customer that I truly care. care. Right? Which is the biggest, most evidently missing piece to the automotive puzzle. Would you not agree? Yes. Including from us sitting in the store today, what's the next customer I can sell? Sharon's example was a vivid example. More concerned about a $200 commission, right? Focus on what's required in order to make you an amateur, worried about every second week, and the keys to the kingdom, a pro against your competitors, an absolute professional. Are you going to sell everybody? But you're going to sell to everybody who's in the market too? Buy a car. Absolutely and All right, so really, really quickly, looping is just defined as a process, and then we'll do a real world one, we'll have some fun. So looping is just a process where we just keep going back. Every time we hit a no, we reframe by asking a question and we'll use some examples and then we continue going down. And remember, again, I use this example here, this, this lock, tick, 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 until the customer is comfortable enough, knows we care enough to say what? Yes. 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 So for one moment until we go and do this, what I want you to do is I want you to think about the way your last hundred car deals have gone. All right, so you're, everybody in the room has sold a hundred cars. So I want you to think of the last hundred car deals. And then I want you to think of what we talked about today. And in, in less than a paragraph, I want you to tell me honestly the difference between how you do it now versus once I have this down to a science, how I'll do it after, and what kind of impact that would have on your relationship with your customer. So again, and repeat, how I do it now versus my last 100 car deals versus how I do it if I can execute this process and what kind of impact it'll have on your customers and their relationships. Joel, look, give me a, just a 10 second synopsis just on what your tummy tells you. You missed some of it, so go ahead. Well, over the last 100 car deals, I find that I'm more professional with my follow-up and my service with my customers. I'm able to stay in touch with them better, find out what they need, and increase my chances not only with them again, but everyone else that they know because of the service that I provide. Mm -hmm. And if we can find a way to articulate that to your new customers who are referred to you very quickly using this process, is that going to increase your ability to sell? Or decrease your it's going to quickly expedite that process and would you agree or disagree and I want the honest answer that using language patterns and proper tonality versus you want to think about it think about this out this time what does it need to think about you need to make a decision hurry up sign quick press hard need three copies you want to call your wife get her on the phone I'll talk to her which way is a little are we selling that way or are we influencing and persuading that way we're selling that way we're trying to influence, we're trying to create a more positive, wholesome atmosphere right. where they are absolutely comfortable with everything that they're doing. Right. And exactly. we'll do it again and, and again, again and, and again. again. We just summed it up. That's our goal, is to be able to do the same thing over and over and over. Because if we do the same thing over and over and over and over and over and it doesn't work, what do we have the opportunity to do? We have the, we have the opportunity to analyze it. Remember in our very first training session, it says, Eleanor, you've got an MBA, right? Very, very quickly, first day of class, business says what? First thing we have to do is know the outcome. Understand what's on the table. 
As the leader, the CEO of Microsoft, you have to know where you want to go if you're going to lead people, right? Or right? Second one, anybody remember what it is? Action. Massive action. You can talk as much as you want, but unless you're going to execute, go home. We'll find nobody else. Three, what's the third one? This is where we run into trouble. Analyze. Analyze. Give us some data to analyze how it's working. And then the fourth one is the big one where we lose our state. What's the fourth one? Readjust. readjust. It's between analyze and readjust that we kind of go, oh my god, I had 10 no's in a row. 10 no's in a row means I'm not much closer to a yes. Maybe those 10 no's in a row, those people weren't in the market for a car. Because I can tell you this, that if we use with tonality, you'll get those that are in the market for a car. Would you guys agree? Would you not agree? You'll get those that are in the market for a car because it makes what? Logical and emotional sense. sense. So why wouldn't you get it, right? It's that simple. So again, just quickly in recap, as we loop, it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. And as we loop, we talk about less and less about the product and more and more about us. So write that down. Less and less about the product. So as we go back, we talk less and less about the product. and more and more about us and the store. Right, so if a customer said no, and I say, you know, no, 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 I hear you. Here's another one, you know, Joe, I really hear what you're saying. But this is far more than just one transaction for me. By the time I get the car delivered, as I promised to you, I'm certainly not gonna get rich, but really what gets my business humming is a thousand referrals that I'm gonna get from you when I over deliver, over deliver and under promise. Fair enough? Right? Now you don't want to stumble, that's not great for tonality, but that's the kind of track you want to use, right? That's the kind of track you want to use. It's far more than just a transaction for me, right? No, I'm not going to, I'm going to think about it. I hear what you're saying, but I, you got to know it's far more than just a transaction for me. You're squabbling over 25 bucks a month. Hey, Lou, I want you to know it's far more than a transaction for me, right? Sense of sincerity. Right? There's that tone of sincerity. Right? So one more time, it's far more than a transaction for me. Right? By the time I get the car delivered on the date that you need, by the time I get paid, I'm certainly not going to get rich off the car deal, but I'll tell you the way my book of business does work. When I over-promise or over-deliver under-promise, those thousand referrals, I guess, what really makes my business sound. Fair enough? That's what I do. It's simple. Just a couple reasonable guys sitting around. It's simple. Right? Again, more importantly, are they going to hear that anywhere else? Loop? They're not, right? They're not going to hear that anywhere else. Again, just an example of a note of a loop that allows us the opportunity to continue down the road. So let's have some fun. Um, so I think as we as we start, I think the one transition I want to use always is the getting started is very easy. All right, so regardless of when you want to use that, let's embed that into our DNA. Getting started is very easy. All I need, or is very simple, just a question of getting a copy of your driver's license, proof of insurance, credit card with an available balance. No, don't say that. Um, <laughs> a credit card with an identifiable amount of money on it. No, don't say that either. Anyway, getting started is very simple. All I need is a copy of your driver's license, proof of valid insurance, and a credit card. You tell me the amount we can refund on delivery. I'm going to issue my financial service manager, Sean. And we end with what work? Two words? Makes sense. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Just like Joe's face. Look at Joe's face with you. Everybody look. Fair enough? What did I say about closing? No big no deal. deal. No big deal. And I do this all day long. You want to see my board and board? Like, that's the mentality, right? So then... We hear the word what? No. No. Uh oh. So now we're going right. So we're we're going down the. We're going. Let's let's do this quick. Let's have some fun. So we're gonna go. Here's our here's our scale or our, our line. I mean. So we know all the stuff in the middle. So we know all the stuff in the middle. And here's our lines. And what do we say about this? As long as they're in here, we're all. We're okay. We're okay, right? Because there's got to be a little variance, but when they get outside that, uh oh, we're in trouble. So, Louie, hit me with the with the transitional phrase. Uh, getting started is very simple. Give me that one. Getting started is very easy. All I need is your license, valid insurance, uh, a board check for you to 
So there's one. I'm going to be hard on them. Or we can say 